this thing has a little catch to it and I will explain you in just a second what it's about. Uh, maybe you can already see it or guess it. However, uh, what is this thing? Well, this thing is a bracket in order to help you um, cut foils, foils or uh, fabric or paper and stuff like that. I don't own a plotter, but I have to cut, you know, uh, paper sometimes and stuff like that. And you can use your K40 with for doing that. It is dangerous because it will catch fire at one point. Paper, um, I had that multiple times, so you really need to keep an eye on it. I crank down the, the output power of the laser, of course. I make pretty fast passes and uh, keep an eye on it uh, that it does not catch fire. However, it works, So um, and recently I had to cut quite a bit of foil. And uh, my foil, when I order it, it comes on a roll like this, and of course foil tends to roll itself up again when you cut it, and, and uh, it's getting wrinkly sometimes, and it's pretty hard to straight get straightened out in the laser in order to get a clean cut. So what I mostly do, I use like a piece of plywood, a piece of my foil, and I scotch it uh, with some scotch tape onto a piece of plywood, straighten it out and put it in the machine, cut it. But when you have to do this 60 times or 50 times, um, you spend a whole day of doing that. So I thought there must be a way of doing this easier and faster. So I went online and I found a guy who made himself a bracket for a professional laser cutter. And um, he came up with a pretty genius idea, building something like this. And I thought I can adapt it. So I went to Tinkercad and I 3D modeled this thing and I took it apart. And uh, Tinkercad is pretty cool because you can export things and import it uh, into a Coal Draw. So you end up with a scale two dimensional drawing of your 3D model. So this would be ready to cut basically. And um, that's what I did. I could go ahead and 3D print it, but as we are talking about the K40, of course, we're building this thing using the laser cutter. Um, I use two millimeter um, acrylic. Um, you can get this stuff very cheap and it has to be two millimeters because the cutouts and stuff are designed in a way that you know it it fits to a two millimeter piece of plywood. The nozzle, by the way, in the time I bought the Cloud Ray laser head or K40 laser head, um, nowadays you can find those blue laser heads uh, online everywhere. They are not very expensive and they are pretty nice to use um, because on the side you have um, this attachment here for your air assist, and that's where I mounted this entire bracket to. So um, the nice thing is you can go ahead and easily remove this part and then. Uh, attach the, the attachment and then you can hook it on. Now, and the, here comes the catch, because the thing is, of course, as you have uh, guessed it maybe, this thing is quite wide and when you, when you turn on the machine, the machine needs to zero itself out to home position, uh, which is in the left upper corner, so it will run into the side of your laser bed and it will trash this thing, and I trashed uh, at least two of these brackets. However, um, there is a way, there are two ways around it. One way is when you would remove this extraction uh, tunnel in the back, um, you can mount this thing uh, vertically and you have enough space to move around. Else, in like in my case, I have to turn the machine on, go to my laptop, position the laser head in the area where I want to cut, then I install the bracket. I um, tape a piece, put a piece of sticky tape onto the on and off switch so it reminds me of getting rid of this thing before resetting the machine. And uh, I do the job and then I remove it and then I am good to go. Uh, however, um, I tend to break uh, these things pretty regular, uh, regularly, so I cut out a whole bunch of them um, in order to get some spare parts. But, um, but hey, I mean, you're not cutting foils every day. So uh, in this case, uh, it just helped me a lot in order to uh, make things faster. And um, let me show you how this works. Let's, let's, for example, use a piece of cloth here. Uh, like this and you see that um, that it is uh, you know it's not straight so when imagine this would be in the laser and the laser head would be on this height more or less so uh, how does this work well when I found the uh, the marbles I got me two big glass marbles from my childhood um, and they are designed to fit in here and let's say the laser head would be on this height and you see when this thing now moves over the cloth it's pinches down the cloth uh, in the area where um, the laser would cut it. So this means I can do relatively straight cuts um, without taping this thing down or without fixing this thing. I could use some magnets, of course, which I did already. But um, this comes out to be very handy, especially when you have to reproduce like 50 pieces of foil or whatever. However, um, let's uh, have a look how this is built. Um, I put the file on my webpage. You can download it for free. You can build this thing for free and uh, you can use it. And um, 
just uh, let be known that um, yeah, uh, you will crush this thing. It is not a question of if but when. I removed the tip of my CloudRay laser nozzle and uh, as you can see usually it comes with a grub screw that holds this part in place and I already replaced this with a little M3 bolt so I can loosen this up without using any tools and um, that, com that comes in quite handy. On this side of course we have the, um, the inlet for our air assist and um, this is screwed uh, as well in here. So um, this is what I will use as a fix point, fixing point for my new bracket here. Now uh, what else do I need? Um, I found two glass marbles out of my childhood, they're probably from the 80s. Um, they are pretty heavy in order um, what we need in order to pinch down on some foil and they are about 25 millimeters in diameter or in inches it's 0 0.97 so about one inch in diameter um, which fits into the bracket here perfectly so um, this is how this will go on later on and uh, what else do we need well we need two um, bolts here and three bolts with uh, two nuts i already lost one of them but um, those are how long are they they are about 1.15 inches or 30 millimeters. M3. There we go. By the way, um, using this Instaset spray, um, I have other sprays that eat into uh, acrylics. Chances are that this thing can still wiggle a little bit in this axis because we are just holding it in place via um, this screw here. So we have those little pieces here that I cut out. So I will glue them on the sides here just to make sure to thicken up this, uh, this layer so it does not wiggle too much anymore. Okay, now let's try to take out the nozzle again. This should be free to move. There it is. Okay. So here is our finished bracket. As I said, I can just simply squeeze this nozzle in here, carefully of course, yes, so, and then tighten it down with the air assist nozzle, and there we have it. So I positioned the laser head and now I can mount the bracket, which is just putting it on, straighten it out a little bit, and just tighten the screw put on the air assist, I remove my magnets that I'm usually using. So I tend to put a piece of plywood underneath uh, still because um, this is too rough for the marbles to, uh, to run on. A um, piece of plywood and now um, let's put it here and then we put a piece of cloth. We can even, even wrinkle it a little bit more so just so you see. And now I put in the two marbles left and right and uh, now let's try to cut a circle and there we go we have a pretty nice exact circle and also the cutout here is pretty much round now this works well for most foils and papers. It's especially helpful when the working material tends to wrinkle or warp. However, it won't straighten out tightly crumpled paper or tiny wrinkles that are too small for the marbles to handle. Despite the tendency of self-destruct, it's still a practical accessory for my K40 laser. If you'd like to build your own, check out the link in the description below to my webpage where you can download the layout to make your very own wrinkle tamer. I hope you enjoyed and I see you on the next one. Until then, see ya.